Hi. Playing the guitar can sometimes be a very frustrating experience. We've all been there at times when we just can't seem to learn a new piece of music no matter how hard we try or when we're playing through a piece of music the notes just don't come out right. And there are even times when it gets more extreme and you just feel like giving up playing the instrument altogether. So what can we do? What can we do to try and keep the interest alive and keep learning and keep it enjoyable playing the guitar and learning at the same time? Well, for a start, this isn't going to be one of these videos that tells you, you know, within five minutes, follow these 10 steps and you'll become a master on the guitar. That's all just clickbait nonsense on the internet. I mean, ultimately what you have to do is put in a lot of practice. So what I want to do in this video is just have a look at some practical common sense things you can do that can keep the interest alive, help you to practice and help you to learn when playing the guitar. Now the first way I think you can progress and learn when playing the guitar is to keep the interest alive when you're playing. So if you have an interest and an enjoyment in playing, you're going to keep playing and you're going to learn more at the same time. Now, everyone has a different journey in how they learn the instrument. What I've done is made this crude little graph here that's sort of showing how I progressed playing the guitar. So you can see here on the graph, you know, it's got uh, two axes, the, uh, the horizontal axis is showing time, vertical axis is my ability. And when I first started playing the guitar, it was just such a slow, hard grind. It felt like nothing was really coming together. Progress was really slow. And then things started getting better and better. And then all of a sudden just hit this kind of purple patch where I started progressing really, really quickly. And during that patch, it was just so enjoyable to play. And the more enjoyment I got and the quicker I was learning, the, just the more this snowballed out and the, my learning got better and my playing got better. But there's only so far you can go and that started to taper off again to the stage I'm kind of at now where yeah, I learn new stuff, but it's actually quite slow the learning process now. Okay, so like I said, when I was in this bit in the middle, you know, um, learning was fast and everything was fun. I just wanted to play and play and play. But what if you're not at that level? What if you're at one of the other levels where it's actually quite a grind to learn and play? To break this down to very basic components, I've sort of split it into two separate sections. One is playing what you're comfortable playing and the other is playing what you're not comfortable playing. So playing music that's a bit above your ability level and it's difficult for you to play. So which is the best to play? Well, the thing is, I think you need a bit of both. If you only keep playing music that you're comfortable playing, you are not going to learn. You know, you're going to, not going to be able to learn new skills on the guitar. You're not going to be able to, say, play faster. You're not going to be able to play more difficult chords, etc., etc. You're just going to stick in this rut. Now, that may be what you're comfortable with, but I think when you're doing this, you can start to lose interest because you're not progressing and developing. The other side, playing out with your comfort zone, can help you learn, but only if you're doing it the right way. If you're playing music that is way out of your ability level, you're just going to become very frustrated, you're not going to get it, it's going to seem so, so difficult, and you know, what you'll do is just end up getting very frustrated and just not bother doing it. And then you're more likely to revert to just playing stuff in your comfort zone and not learning. So I think of when you're playing music out with your, your comfort zone, music that's a bit harder, don't go too far with it. Just don't do music that's just a wee bit harder than what you're used to playing. You know, maybe it's just got a, a difficult passage within the piece and the rest that you're comfortable playing or something like that. You know, and I think if you can balance playing stuff that you're comfortable playing and stuff that's a wee bit out with your comfort zone, what you'll find is you're keeping the interest alive and you're able to learn and progress at the same time. And I think by keeping the interest up 
and learning and progressing will help you play more, learn more and get more enjoyment out of the instrument. Now the next thing I want to say, and I say this in a lot of my other videos, is don't be afraid to adapt the music to your playing style and ability. Now I appreciate if you're doing, say, a classical recital. You know, people are going to be wanting to hear it note for note. But more often than not, you know, if you're playing blues music or a lot of other styles of music, it doesn't have to be played note for note. If you're trying to play a piece of music note for note as it's written and you just can't get it, you will just get frustrated and just walk away from the piece of music. What it's better to do is to adapt that piece of music to your playing style and your ability levels. So, for instance, you might be playing through a piece of music and it might have a really fast single note run in it and you just can't nail it no matter what you do. Just strip that run back until you can and start playing it like that and then maybe just gradually build it up until you get it. Don't feel that you have to get everything note for note as written. You know, what is better to do is to get something out of a piece of music that you're comfortable playing and then build up to that if you wish. And I think what this does is it helps keep interest and again it helps keep learning. It was like I said in the previous section, you know, if you're pushing yourself just a wee bit but also staying in your comfort zone, you know, you can learn and progress a lot better. So if you're struggling with a piece of music and you really want to play it, look at adapting the music to suit your playing style and ability level and it will help you learn it and progress. As an aside, that's another reason to learn more about music in general. If you learn more about music, musical notation, how music's structured, etc., you will be able to adapt music a lot more easily. If you're only used to just reading a tab and have very little musical theory, it will be harder to adapt music to suit. So that's just an aside, it's definitely worth learning the musical theory. Again though, this flies in the face of all this nonsense that you see on the internet, you know, that gives you all these quick fixes, all these, you know, five steps to becoming a great guitarist and all this rubbish you see on the internet. What's better to do is put the time in, learn the theory, learn music, practice regularly and what you'll find is it's far more fulfilling and satisfying. Now another good way to keep up the interest and keep the learning going when playing the guitar is to write your own music. Now I know this may seem daunting and if you're just a beginner it may actually be a step too far just now. You know, but if you're a bit more competent playing the guitar, writing your own music can be a great way to progress your learning and interest. First off, you can tailor the music to your individual taste. So you, you know, you're going to write a piece of music that you want to hear. Another reason is you can tailor it to your ability levels. So you can write a piece of music that you're comfortable with and put in the things that you're good at doing on the guitar into that piece of music. You know, if you want, you can put in things that push you a bit further so you can progress your learning even further. But ultimately, what this does is it helps keep interest alive and it helps you write pieces of music that you want to play and that'll keep you playing the guitar and keep you practicing. Not just that, you're learning new skills as well. You're learning more about music theory, you're learning more about how music's structured, etc, etc. You're also learning more about your abilities, what areas you're good at, and what areas you may want to progress at. So, although it may seem daunting to do it if you've never done it before, give it a try. Look at some of the music you like playing, take some of the cues from that, and try writing a bit of your own music. You'll be surprised at what you can actually do. Now, the last thing I want to look at is understanding your limitations. Now, when you go around YouTube and that, you know, you see a lot of guitar tutorial videos 
and they can be very frustrating to watch. You know, people are very, very talented doing this like it's nothing. And when you try to do it, it doesn't work. You can, you know, get a very negative attitude doing this. You feel like you're never going to be a good guitarist, you know, and it, and it just hampers learning, it hampers progress. And a lot of the videos that you do see on YouTube really aren't promoting learning. The only thing they're promoting is the guitarist themselves showing off, which isn't really that good if you're wanting to learn and progress. So one thing I think you have to do is understand and accept your limitations. You know, everyone will learn at a different speed. Everyone will have different strengths and weaknesses when playing the guitar. You know, some people might be good at playing with a pick, doing fast single note stuff. Some people, say like myself, might, you know, be better at doing the sort of finger picking guitar because I'm really not good at all that speed metal stuff. I tried it when I was younger and I just found it frustrating. So I think what you have to do is have a sit down and think, you know, what are your ability levels? What are your limitations? And what is the type of music that you're playing? I know this can be frustrating. I mean, if you want to play, say, fast speed metal music and that's your thing and you can't seem to get it, maybe you should say, what other type of music do I like? And maybe try that and you might find you have more of an aptitude towards it. To use my own example, one of the limitations that I've had to accept is that, you know, I actually have quite short fingers and I have quite a short thumb. Now this may not seem like an issue, but what you find, especially playing finger style guitar, and especially if you're playing in the key of C is, that you have to make this F chord, and the F chord's done where you're putting the thumb over the neck of the guitar and then playing an F like this. And by getting that bass note in, you use it for the bass picking pattern. And because my fingers are short, I physically cannot do it. I've tried and it's just painful and it just doesn't come out right. So what I have to do when playing an F chord is I've got to play the whole F chord <coughs> and that can be quite slow to form. So because of this, I'm really not keen on playing in the key of C. And if you see music that I write and I put up on the channel, I don't think any it's actually in the key of C. I try and avoid this like the plague, to be honest. And at the time it was frustrating, so I'm like, you know, it's not fair that I can't do this. Why, why can't I do it the same way that they can? But I just have to accept that I'm anatomically different. And that sort of, that maneuver on the guitar is just something that I can't do. So I can work around it, but realistically it's best just to avoid, just say that's a limitation I have. Best just not to go near music like that and either adapt it or play music that's better suited to my abilities. So I think you have to be realistic. And I think as you get older as well, you do come, become more realistic. And you can say, well, this is what I'm good at. This is what I'm not good at. So this is my strengths that I'm going to play towards. And I think if you do that, you find you keep interest in the guitar a lot better. And that in turn promotes better learning. To be realistic, don't set your expectation levels into the stratosphere because that way you are only going to become disappointed and frustrated, you know. See it as a gradual and slow path to learning because I feel if you want to keep the interest up and thus keep the learning going, you have to be realistic about it, you have to practice and just understand that this won't happen overnight. Anyway, I hope these tips have been helpful and I hope they give you something to reflect on and hopefully they can help you keep your interest in learning up when playing the guitar.